Hey, Charles, thanks for doing this and being available. I'm just wondering, is there any type of compliance tool uh, being developed right now by the foundation in terms of Cardano? Uh, when I mean compliance, I mean like banking compliance and, and regulatory compliance. Yeah, it's hard to do that as a not-for-profit organization because when you talk about compliance, there are generally accepted best practices and principles, but then you take that as feedstock into a specific compliance system for a specific regulated financial institution operating in a specific jurisdiction with a specific set of customers. So that's a business unto itself. And I, I know Fred has this desire to bring on 50 banks into the Cardano ecosystem in 12 months. Uh, and there's certainly a lot of conversations about how would people do something in Cardano, like, for example, trace and track transactions, introduce KYC and AML processes, uh, establish anti-terrorist financing, you know, these, these types of things that are the bread and butter of a compliance desk, as well as establish risk and reputation of the users of systems, especially for regulated actions. Um, we've had probably thousands of conversations throughout the years about these various things, and uh, we have tried to build some hooks into the protocol for people to build software on top to make it easy. For example, the metadata standard that was introduced um, in December of 2020 uh, allowed you to put metadata on the wire, metadata on the transaction. So you can embed a DID, you can embed arbitrary information there that would be perfect for a compliance system to do to then understand the nature of certain transactions. Uh, but it's not compulsory, it's an optional standard. And that's the thing is that whenever you build these compliance systems, people just freak out of their mind and they just start making things up and babbling incomprehensibly. You know, it's like when you say, hey, let's build an identity system. What they infer is, oh, every single transaction, all of Cardano will require identity by some centralized organization or else you can't use the system. It's like, no, we didn't say that. We just said, hey, we have an identity system you can use for your business if you so choose. So you have to be a little careful when you talk about this because there seems to be hysteria and overreaction. I think we are, amongst all the cryptocurrencies in the market, one of the best suited for regulated activities because of the nature of the tools that we constructed, like the identity standards and um, the metadata standard and just the way Cardano works. The other thing is I think we're the only one of the proof of stake protocols that at the moment Will, it has a horizon to comply with the infrastructure bill. Uh, Ethereum 2, Polkadot, EOS, all these things currently do not. Uh, the compliance standards as written in the infrastructure bill that will take effect, because it is a law as of 2023, require all the state pool operators to have some KYC on their delegators. That's uh, at least a fair interpretation of that law. So you need something like uh, contingent staking to accommodate that. So we're going to implement that as a uh, as an upgrade to the system. And when you register a stake pool, you can register a specialty stake pool to add that feature in. Basically, it means it's a multi-sig for delegation. So when someone delegates to you, it goes to pending instead of an auto delegation, and you have to approve it. And as a stake pool operator, you could do that by saying, well, you, when you delegate, you have to include a DID that has been KYC'd in the delegation transaction, and I won't sign that transaction unless that's there. So 100% of the people who have delegated to you are gone through some form of compliance. Uh, and then you can also use this for ISPOs. So if you want to blacklist the United States, for example, you can say, well, I'll register a contingent pool. It means everybody who's delegating to me is a non-US citizen, for example. These are examples of things that you can do. Now, again, that would be an optional certificate as a capability for a person to do. And they always can run an open pool and register one, or they can run a continuing pool. That's the point of building these systems is you build them in a modular and flexible way and you give people options to pursue the, the, the ends that they want. It's a very libertarian principle at the end of the day. Uh, but in terms of specific projects, you know, they had a relationship with, uh, I can't remember which one of the uh, KYT, Know Your Transaction Vendors it was, to do analytics and analysis on the Cardano blockchains or exchanges and compliance tests to use to be able to do weighting of risk of transactions and things like that. I know they've established some relationships, but I'm not aware of any comprehensive end-to-end -end compliance framework that's under development by a, a particular member.